All right, we're back on the old International 175C track loader. Got Kevin today, Hunter, yeah. and myself. Is it Clint or Clinton? Clint. It depends. It depends. It depends what day it is on YouTube. If you guys not seen, there's a ton of videos on this thing. All of them will be in the description down below. Bought this tractor. It's actually a 2003. It's an older design. Um, it's got, what, 300 hours on it? 300 some hours. We've done a bunch of work to it so far. Um, we re rebuilt uh, four cylinders, actually three. Made new chrome rods for them. Did a little machining work on there. Welded new the ends back on there. So if you guys uh, want to see that, go back down in the description, check those videos out. Um, made a set of uh, side panels, floorboards and stuff for it. It was missing that stuff when we got it. So we got the new panels there. Um, so what we got left in this thing before we take it out and run it, it's, uh, been sitting a long time so we're going to change all the fluids filters um finals all that good stuff and see what's going on in there another thing we've got problems with all the steering pedals uh the bucket controls all that stuff is just uh real sticky from sitting and everything so we're going to get in and grease things up a little bit see if we can get stuff freed up again and then um i think kevin's going to work his magic on the center section if you guys remember when i first picked this up it had a cab on it so He's going to probably just paint this center section up and these new panels that we made. I'm not going to paint the whole tractor right now, so got some plans on uh, using it over next door a little bit. So this has a 12-valve 5.9 Cummins in it. And we're going to change the oil on it and filters. And you got some filters? We're going to go to town and start taking filters off. You guys can see that thing's been on there for maybe two or three days or 20 years or we're not sure. We're gonna go change all these dudes out. Got a couple of fuel filters back here. Um, we've got uh, two transmission filters over here and a magnetic screen strainer. We got a hydraulic filter up here. We're gonna change. Then we'll go through the finals and all that good stuff. So we're ready to get on it. Smile, you're on camera. I can't see. I can't see you. I they can see your wrench. You may need another one to hold that adapter on there. How about uh, another seven eighths on it? What do you got there, Kevin? Let me hold this elbow. Let me see that. Which way are you going? That way. That way. Oh, I seen it got move. It. It's probably never been off in its life. What do you think? No, no. We're gonna stay positive today. There she goes. Kevin's got a special request. <laughs> I, he, I was hoping maybe somebody could his, start sending me some snacks. From his pocket pocket's break. getting empty there. Yeah. He I'll needs go. some. He needs. Needs need some, some snacks. Snack All right, Hunter's getting ready to change the engine oil filter. Or is it motor oil filter? Well, there goes the debates, comments. They're engine. just typing right now. Yep. Engine. Motor motor filter engine motor filter Get it, take her off no I'm pressure show yeah. that filter who's boss might turn your wrench out of the way you sure you got it you got it choke her up nice and tight oh you got lucky on that one bud you didn't was, have the 20 year old torque that was on from last year. i'm just so swole swole Pretty swole do you see that right there hunter's Bobby's been right there. hunter's been lifting weights right. for football swelled up like you're gonna be real swole after you put 30 inch pads on that 850j <laughs> over there you and your little friend mason Oh yeah, no leaks. No leaks. Where Perfect. It doesn't leak because it didn't have any oil in it. <laughs> Hunter's gonna write the hours on there. It's 394 hours, Hunter. Oh wow. You might write it big so everybody can read it. Oh, it's too late. <laughs> what if Randy's in here? It's hard to write. 394 hours date is 6-7 of 2022. All right, we got some fuel filters on our side to change. Six, seven. Six, seven. YouTube people's probably gonna see this in a couple weeks, who knows. All right, we're gonna get the other ones changed. Wow. That How you doing there, Hunter? Wonderful. I feel like me and Kevin's just watching you work. And Kevin's, eating goldfish. You probably just You're dropped it right in the fuel filter. Way, bub. I'm getting swole this way. <laughs> Hunter's getting some new fuel filters on. I did shut the fuel off, or Kevin shut the fuel off back here. I'm gonna turn her on, bud. You better be ready. Five, four, three, four, two, 
It's coming. Too late now, book. She's on full bore. Hey, there's a Jeep container pulling in. Jeeps, Jeeps, we got Jeeps at Fun times are about to happen. Straight from the Philippines. That's hey, the same, same guy from yesterday. It makes two in a row. Containers had something jammed in it too. Let's <laughs> see all the low spots are now middle spots. We unloaded a container yesterday. It looked like an excavator had been slid on its side. You can see the track marks down the wall. It's supposed to go like this, but it kind of yeah, went Yeah, like you could this. see where the tracks went. <laughs> Got one little bleeder screw on top up there. This is common in all the Cummins engines. Pretty simple. They switched over. So this is a uh, or 2003. They come out with this design in 1972 and originally it would have had the DT-466 in it. So around 1991 or so they changed over to the Cummins motor. So same primer. Kevin's gonna pump that dude up to get those full and get air bled out there and then uh, We'll move on. We got some air filters up here next. Then we'll move on to the transmission department. There you go. Kevin wants a bigger turbo on this thing. I mean, look at oh. that. Look at that exhaust housing. He wants a big old. You, you couldn't like put a wheel. Semi. Yeah, you couldn't put a wheel in there big enough to do anything. You got the new gasket, too, Hunter? Yes. Gasket. Thank you, Hunter. We're putting a new inner and outer air filter in. Oh, it's getting tight. Okay, keep that dust out of there, bud. Let me thread this on with the other one. Good and tight. Can we write the hours on this? Yeah, put the hours on that one too. What was it? 394 hours. Cover there. Jiggle it, bud. How's that wing nut work? Are you supposed to tighten it? Uh, I think it may come apart in the wrong spot. Hmm. We got a double wing nut problem here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Coming shortly. Things heavy. This is back when they made things. I bet they were full. They okay. were full. If you actually lift it, it's mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Back when they made things, great. Mm -hmm. All right, got new air filters on there. We're gonna move to the back. Mr. Kevin got the engine filled back up with oil. Hunter's out working on a Jeep container. Already, already marking things on. Mark. He's writing the hours on. Was it 394? Next thing we're going to do is pull the. Uh, got two transmission filters here. Then behind it's actually a magnetic uh, screen filter. I'm going to go ahead and take it off just to see what's going on in there. All right, Kevin got the transmission filter out. Somebody's actually replaced these. It's got Napa. Napa filters and that's not original equipment. We can actually see writing on this suction screen. It's a magnetic uh, strainer filter back here and it's been actually changed recently. So I'm not gonna open that up. I thought, well, if it's never been open since it's new, that's not something you service that often. Just a suction, mean everything look, looking good here and somebody's done us a favor and wrote the date and stuff on that one. We're just gonna change the two transmission filters for now. <laughs> that was a mess. My first day. These have not been in there that long either. My first day. First day. Put it right in the dirty oil pan. Yeah. So we're just going to clean that out with some brake cleaner now that Kevin dropped it in the goop. <laughs> I mean, seriously. And replace the other one. Did you hear that? Yeah. Like the there's a spring in there you just dropped in the goop too. Okay. All right. I'm going to get you a couple new filters over here. Those got a part number on them. Yeah, 1181. 
Got them. Are you dyslexic now, too? Where? What did it say? You said 1811. Oh. 11, 18. I was reading it upside down. Is that what the problem was? All I saw was made in the USA, and it just had hey, me Hey, let's open up these new ones. I bet they're not made in the USA no more. Don't fail me now. Napa. Gold. May. That, that's wrong language. <laughs> I'm not thinking that's made in the USA no, anymore. I can just tell you just by looking at it. it I think we might as well put the made. USA ones back in it now. Yep. It's got some... Uh, no, it says USA right there. Yeah. USA I slash mean, E say, slash EU slash EU. It could EU. say made in the USA anyway, huh? Yeah. I feel like it's made in the USA. All right. We bought it. We bought it. <laughs> Got a couple new filters installed. Kevin's got the magic marker. You got oh, you got two of them. You're gonna take one home for later, aren't you? You're just like Uncle Scott with the bolts. Comments are gonna be firing up now. <laughs> so yeah. I know you're not right-handed. How's this gonna go? Uh, you like one of those duplicator machines? <laughs> Why is this right side looking a little rough over here? <laughs> <laughs> what was it? 396? 394. <laughs> You definitely tell you're not uh, right-handed. <laughs> I think I nailed it personally. Oh my gosh. All right, we're on, what we got? One more filter left. Yeah. Hydraulic filter up here. I don't know if they've been in that one. Uh, it looks like the green paint's still on there. So we'll go ahead and pull it out. It's probably never been replaced. It looks like they've actually replaced all the other ones around 2009, which is a long time ago, but not very many hours. So. We'll get to top off that tank and uh, check out the hydraulic filter. All right, so that hydraulic filter sits uh, way down in there. So if you guys have a TD-15C dozer, this is the same basic tractor. So all the filter is gonna be in the same spot. Dozer uses that same tank and filters. What did you do, get her stuck? I don't think these have ever been out before. It's gonna be like a time capsule in here. I wonder what brand of filters they use at the factory. These are special government filters. Government filters. I'm not sure this is. Oh, got it. What we got in there? A little low and hydraulic fluid. Set that down. Do what? No, it's not rusty or anything. Looking good. I think that's an inch and a socket we probably need, Kevin. We'll pull out that uh, cover. I'm getting a pan or something or a pig mat. This is just a cover for the filter. Birthday present. Happy birthday! Let's see if we can get that up. You ready? Oh yeah. Are you catching this or what are you doing? I was gonna let it drain. Go, Zach. Okay. It's pretty heavy. It's got oil sitting on top of it too. Okay, got it. Yep, yep, yep. Looking pretty good. Things about out of hydraulic oil. We had a big leak in all the cylinders and stuff, so we'll get some new in there after a bit. <laughs> what did you do over here? Oh. Apparently there's five gallons of oil inside the filter housing? Yeah. Yeah, it was uh it was sealed up pretty good. What a mess. Hey. Some people's children. It's a good thing we got pig mat here to the rescue. Oh my goodness. Some new body panels be rust proofed. Yeah, they're gonna be fisheye city. 
How do you like this mini trash can here? Probably this is so big though. I'll get you a rule. <laughs> Did you gonna get it? It's going in the hole. You need more pig mats or something. Oh, right behind you, the big roll. <laughs> yeah, we need the jumbo roll. There you go. There we go. All right. Hey, turn that camera on now. It's yeah, this looks way. professional. There we go. All we're, right, guys, we're back. We're back. <laughs> Got a nice working area. Well, he's going to show you this stuff is built to the kilt here, isn't it? This is back when they made stuff. I mean, that filter housing, there's no plastic involved in that. What's that way? It's a lot lighter with all the oil out of it, but yeah, I mean, you got cast steel pieces here. They didn't want stuff falling apart back in the day. They built these tractors for sure. After get Kevin gets done cleaning this mess up, we'll assemble this dude back together. We'll see you tomorrow. Hey, I got the gasket <laughs> ready here for you. Okay, well, thanks. It's going to be there a while. Appreciate I it. thought we'd be, you know, ready to put it back together by now. See, now it looks like we know what we're doing. You got a metal part there yet. I feel like a very critical part here. It's stuck. O-rings, seals. Take it this one on there. Two inch nut. Two inch nut. Two inch socket. You gonna show everybody your chrome socket you picked out for your impact? Sure. So that sits in a tank and that goes over it. Simple as that. <laughs> right out. Out of I'm just trying to hold the camera. Easy, Easy there. Yeah, it's gonna be excessive. Easy there, yeah. <laughs> Get her? Yeah, but before you start collapsing it? Yeah. <laughs> Just start <the> buckling. <laughs> Alright. You gonna hand that to me? It's a lot lighter now. Yeah. I'm ready for that can stand. Yeah. Lock nut on top of here. I think that steel can keeps it from sucking uh, air. When you're doing wheelies. If you got me like a six inch longer extension, we'd been in the camera. Here, I'll trade you. All right, got the filter, wrote down the date and hours on top of the tank. We're gonna drain the transmission out next. I was uh, under here looking at this. You know you're gonna have to do something under here first. You know your machine's been sitting a while when it's, uh, looks like Halloween underneath here. It's nasty. It's not my favorite holiday. <laughs> we know what your favorite holiday is. Christmas. We got cobwebs all over this dude back here. If I don't get Christmas cards from some people, Boy, I'm so Kevin likes Christmas stuff. Two hundred days. Do you want to send? Yeah, he can tell you how many seconds it is to Christmas. It's two hundred. Right? You guys want to send him anything? Send him some Christmas gifts. Yes, and Christmas lights for the shop. Christmas lights and inflatables. We don't need inflatables, yes, we folks. Do. We Should we tell him about the inflatables we had here? Yeah. Kevin yeah, bought a right snowman. It was, we had right it was here. A Ten foot tall. Plugged snowman. in right there. Big dude. Blocked the whole window. About hit the sign up there. Yeah, that was nice. What happened to it? Well, an avalanche came because nobody put any snow guards on that <laughs> so, gutter up there. Yeah, 
we got metal roofs and all the snow come flying off the roof and smashed a poor inflatable snowman. <laughs> Blew his butt out. He was not happy. There wasn't no fixing that. All right. All right, Kevin got the transmission oil drained out there. Got the cobwebs out. He's getting rid of the oil. He about spilled her, bud. Everything looked super nice there. So we're going to fill those things up. Probably start up and check the finals. We'll see what that oil looks like. But everything's been super clean so far. So we may not mess with changing those. We'll just see what it looks like here. We'll get the uh, transmission topped off and the hydraulic. And uh, probably be ready to fire it up and check these finals next. All right, Kevin got the hydraulic tank topped off. Got the transmission topped off. Are you ready to start this, dude? Do it. We got engine oil in it. Sure. I'm gonna start it and uh, check his transmission oil. So it's gotta be checked running. Let's see, get you guys up here. Turn you on. The idle one. We got the fuel filters bled out. Here we go. goes on the hood we may need it later to set it out Kevin's taking the boom lock out there you guys were wondering it actually fastens up in the hood later when we get done so are we uh, ready to come down Kevin we're gonna set this thing down so we can check the hydraulic oil in the uh, tank here like we're good and full it's not snack time again is it no, they don't need the sound of snack. snacks it's all christmas snacks. snacks all right we got one set of fluids oh, to check that was almost my heart right there. oh my gosh <laughs> it's june bub it's not even close to christmas it's 200 days away i can almost taste it you got these loosened up right yeah yeah all right i'll fire her up i'm gonna set you guys right here how about that? Yep. Mm -hmm. Let's see what kind of oil we got here. Yep. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. What you been doing down here? Oh, it's sticky. Do we grease any of these fittings down here? Oh. We got a whole fleet of sticky pedals. We're gonna keep it working them. Touch that pedal now. This one? Oh, oh snap. Yeah, What'd you do to me? I pulled the pin. I, I oh. divided it in half. Divided it in half. So it's on this side. Of course it is. Oh, well, this is gonna be all boring. We're gonna keep on lubing and working and getting our 20 year old 300 hour tractor freed up. Mm -hmm. We're this. Ooh, slap shifting that dude. That's right. That's not a shift. That wasn't doing that earlier. Nope. You must have did something while I was in there. I told you I was on my phone the whole time. You were probably just sitting on that. That's right. I was YouTubing how to free up 20 year old <laughs> handles. I bet there's no video on this tractor. <laughs> there will be though. <laughs> There's some VHS tapes for it. Though. We got a sticky valve over here. This valve actually, when the arms come all the way up, that will lock back and when they come all the way out, kicks the handle out into neutral. So we're gonna keep on freeing stuff up here. We're not gonna bore you guys with it because it's a boring 
tedious, fun job. All right, all right, we ready to back her outside? Work. We got some boards laid down. We usually don't drive dozers out this way. Well, we got an 850J blocking our way. So, are you gonna tell them what we've been doing? What did we do? Greasing and lubing. And I haven't done anything. We ain't done I'm anything. So we've been out, we got all the pedals free. The center one's still a little sticky. That's why you see a tarp strap on it. And it needs to take it out and run. We got all that stuff lubed up. We adjusted, been adjusting on the brakes. Mm -hmm. I've actually got uh, two boosters back here. It actually boosts those pedals. As soon as you hit those, those kick in and give you hydraulic advantage. So got those adjusted up. <laughs> we got the uh, return to dig working. If you guys don't know what that is, it actually sets your bucket back level um in the dig position where it's sitting at now so if you dump your bucket you pull your lever back i'll show you when you get outside it's actually got a detent it's gonna come all the way back up till it's in that return to dig position again hence all the anti-season stuff up here we had to get all that stuff heated up freed up we've been messing like this for what a day or so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and there's one other valve over here we got to adjust once we get it outside there's actually a couple things we gotta do we got one more valve over here this one actually is a loader arm kick out so if you say where you went into a pile scooped up you can pull back on that lever it's going to lock in a detent and you don't have to pay attention to your arms it will come up and kick out here once it gets all the way up so hopefully that makes does that make sense let's test it first basically you just have to worry about steering and driving towards your dump truck the arms are coming up on their own so once they get up to a preset position it'll kick that out so then i think we got to adjust up the steering brakes a little bit so we're going to get it outside get her running thinking to back out of the shop i don't know kind we'll of see. emotional day it's an emotional moment what's yeah. it been here like three months yeah i feel like it's a <laughs> child of mine or something all right i don't want to fire it up and see if it backs up Hopefully you guys can see what I was doing is actually adjusting that kick out valve. 
Like I said, that lever's got a detent on it. You can just pull it up, not worry about uh, where your bucket's going, and uh, it will go all the way up so you can load a truck. You can adjust it so it don't go all the way up. Um, if you wanted it to, you can stop it a little bit before it goes to the top. The return to dig one's working over. You've seen I wasn't doing that. The levers are all, detents are all working and everything. So what Kevin's doing, this left brake is down just about a half inch lower than the other one. I want to get it just up. You guys probably can't see in there, but there's a uh, 11 16 jam nut. And then there's a square half inch uh, screw. And you actually can turn that screw in. Tightens the brakes up on these a little bit. So we're going to get that all adjusted up. Probably run around a little bit, make sure the thermostat and stuff's opening on it, and uh, send it back to Randy. Have him clean it all up. Miracle cream. Miracle cream. Now, what's your plans with this yellow section here, Kevin? Make it look beautiful? Yep. You guys remember it had a cab on there. It had all this insulation stuff on it. We peeled it off. It's got the glue on it. Hopefully, Randy can wash most of that off, and you guys will get that all sanded up and stuff, and I think... Kevin's, uh oh. Black friend. This is my friend. We got Hi, caught. Friend. The warden's here. Get what back time is work. it? 10 30. I was doing my other job at home. Oh. Oh, oh by the way, Hunter's deer is done. What deer? Head? His deer head. Oh, by the way. At the taxidermy. He just keeps the head? It's <laughs> so weird. Hunter's the hunter. Anyway, we're going to get all this uh, painted up. Kevin's going to touch all it up. Then uh, we'll get all those panels that we made and put those back on there so you guys can uh, check out all that. All right, Kevin, adjust that pedal up a little bit. We're going to try her out here. sitting there by itself when it comes up that arm's gonna hit this and kick this valve out I kick that out so the return to dig this up here it's safe I dump my bucket I pull it back here it will automatically go back to that return to dig position so got all that stuff working Kevin's gonna give me yeah just a just a hair more Kevin that should be good and we'll tighten her down and that should be it uh, we'll get everything painted and cleaned up here all right mr. Kevin got the uh, yellow stuff be gone got that whole now section do. do what now I do. now you do covered up the yellow paint matched in pretty good he just kind of blended this center section sand it painted it. got all of my floorboards painted that we made side panels we're putting all that stuff on we've already pre-fit it got this panel on there already looking good isn't it yeah it's like brand new we gotta slam some floorboards in there gotta put the seat back in you took the seat out on me gonna be a good new one got some new decals too those other ones were faded tucker made us some so you got one bolt that goes up under the bottom here them hidden special bolts. hidden bolts get my sausage fingers out of the way looks like it's got to go back we're going to keep on slamming panels put the side screens on get the four boards in scratch some more paint <laughs> and uh then we gotta get a grease gun out and grease it. Oh yeah, I left you, didn't I? Left you, left you. I'm ready for you to pick it up. Boom. See that? It's almost like these are factory panels. Something like that. You just gotta give it the old pickup.
Looking good, looking good. All right, we got the one half of the floorboard in that we made. Kevin's getting the other one in there. No scratchy scratchy. So I made these all from scratch in another video. So it wasn't here when we got the machine. It'll fit nice. You got two bolts that come up underneath over there, Kevin. We'll get those all tightened down and ready for the seat, ain't we? Yep. Just like brand new. Kevin's gonna fire up. We're gonna put the brace in so we can get the side shields on. I need the key. It's all the way down the Oh my gosh. Really? <laughs> We got all the panels on got the belly pans on kevin's putting on some uh, smiley faces on the side really you think that's enough uh coverage area there bud kevin's putting on some new decals i've seen that one before i know that guy i know that guy we're greasing the machine got a grease finger it won't take so we're going to replace it i think it was clogged up tucker made some new decals you guys tell me what these three symbols mean in the description. I've told you before, but you can't say. I wouldn't know anyway. <laughs> they all have to do with heavy equipment. But yeah, you think, oh yeah, I remember now. Yeah. Okay, got it. This is one, that's one, and that's another one. I know what it is. You can't say. Well, I just now We gotta let it. everybody in the comments figure out what it is. I've never been told this. I just Two of them, have, I'll give you a hint. Two of them have to do with the dozer. That's like way too easy. Yeah, One's a way, loader. I'm not gonna say no more. All right. I mean, that's a good looking sticker there. What if like it went on the glass Yeah. I like it. Okay, got everything greased up. Kevin's got two more stickers to put on here. I see some green paint on my new cylinder here. No, I don't. Oh. So. It's your imagination. Four in one bucket here has got two positions we're going to um, mark on that cylinder. If you guys see that rod there, that's actually indicator rod for where your bucket's sitting at so right now if you noticed it's turned up a little bit that's actually the position where you'd open your 401 bucket up if you wanted to scrape a little bit so right now what kevin's doing is uh putting in the scraper sticker there is that the scraper sticker uh-huh it's a good thing i'm watching you what do you mean no that's not it we're scraper position you're killing Tucker's going to be so mad if you messed up his sticker. It's already stuck. Uh-oh. <laughs> what letters are in scraper that have skid? <laughs> Kevin put the wrong sticker up there. No, I didn't. I did what I told. Just take out the skid and we'll put the loader where the bucket's supposed to be in a dig position. Does that make sense? Skid loader. It's just going to be loader. It's too big anyways. That's right. So anyway, <laughs> Kevin's going to put on the scraper sticker. Why are all my failures caught on camera? Oh, you want, to my you want me to walk around back to the ocean? <laughs> <laughs> I won't do that to you. Go ahead. No, Go I won't do that day. to you. You'll be upset for the rest of the day. <laughs> you think we could get new stickers made, but Tucker just don't want to make them for us. 
gets angry. He gets angry. Okay, so he's putting on the scraper. So I'm gonna take this thing out and run it. I'll show you how this four one bucket works later. It'll be in another video actually, because we actually gotta go do a recovery mission, don't we? That's right. Grandpa. Dad called and he's actually buried the Frankenstein 850 a while ago. I guess not buried, but he needs pulled out. So. Couldn't wait till it quit raining. No, he's out there pushing in the rain. I don't know what for. Anyway, that's another video. You guys want to see that? Stick around. So. Somebody's got the dozer stuck. Trying to get it out. We're in the scraper position right now. So when we open that bucket up, we can actually control how much that thing cuts. Well, if you open it up, we can cut an inch, we can cut two inches or three inches. That front lip will actually keep it from sinking in too far. So control your cut like that. In the scraper position, um, Kevin's still taking off stickers yet. You got any more stories to tell her? <laughs> no, I'm running, out, I'm running out of stories. I can do a walk around back here by the ocean. Go ahead. Got all these nice stickers on. And if I stand way back here, Kevin, it looks worse. He got distractors, a bunch of little kids back here, wasn't there? You notice that blue's got a little little wave in the back of it. It'll be all right. It's Friday, bub. It's all right. It looks better than it did. So <laughs> We put our old, uh, if you guys remember from one of the first videos, that was actually on the cab that we took off. We got the old VIN plate tag back on there. The factory VIN plate tag's still on there. That's the military tag, so we got it back on there on our new plates. But all in all, she's looking looking pretty good, I must say. I need to smear this grease out in this return to dig rod I got all up on here. Did you get those off there yet? We're gonna have to These off. Are some hey, only the best. Okay, I'm ready. This is the scraper position. That's the scraper position. Remember, we're gonna go just a little bit forward. Get the wee bucket. Wee buckets rolled back just a little bit, but not much. And then we'll start it up. And uh, you guys remember earlier we had that return to dig set. We'll flip that, get that set, and we'll put on the other sticker that used to say skid loader. Now it just says loader. Anyway, we'll get the we'll get the picture here. Kevin, I can't get that. Even one. Get the <laughs> All right, so Kevin's gonna start the loader up. He's actually gonna dump the bucket, then he'll pop that lever back over and let it come back to the return to dig position that we set. see the teeth are kind of level on the ground there it's in the dig position or loader we got the abbreviated version well this thing makes us dark in here you know what my camera hopefully everybody can see it so as you're sitting up here in the operator action seat, seat action seat be right up there you can see those letters got the little rod there beautiful he couldn't read that skid loader anyway, it's perfect. Yeah, see, skid would have been like all the way down here, and I he would have gotten confused because it was two words instead of one. Looking good, bub. All right, I think we're about ready to back this dude outside, ain't we?
Okay, we got her all done, all wrapped up. Got her cleaned up, greased up. Jay's getting some pictures of it over there. Make it look all nice and pretty. So it will be for sale on uh, our website at ccsurplus.com. I'm actually getting ready to take it up on the property. If it's dry enough, we may uh, run it up there a little bit. So if you guys want to see that, uh, definitely uh, subscribe so you don't miss that out and if you liked all the videos and stuff you've seen on there give me a big thumbs up it helps me out a bunch so if you guys can guess what those three symbols are inside let me know in the comments down below too so here's the old snap-on truck can't afford that all right appreciate it guys give us a thumbs up if you like what you've seen